I've seen climate change because when I was young, almost throughout all the months of the year, there was rain. But right now we experience like half of the year there is no rain, and the other half is little rain. I buy powder when it comes to drought. Sometimes I go far away to buy that powder, and that is a challenge. The rains have been coming down heavily these past few weeks. That means a lot of fodder. We know with climate change, we are not promised of enough rainfall in the next season. So, what should a farmer do? Preserve the excess fodder. Two scale have been working with farmers, training them on silage making. We have brought in Joel Mawira from Policy and Market Options, who work with Two Scale to see how Rose has been feeding her cows and how she can improve. Rose, you said you wanted to make sure your cows give you more milk. Yeah. Right now, how much milk are they giving you? 24, 23. 23, 24. Yeah. And how many are the cows? Uh, three. Three. Yeah. What have you been feeding them? I'm feeding them with Napier. Maize mm -hmm. and weeds. I think Rose needs to improve the quality of feed mm -hmm. and even the way she's feeding the cows. Mm -hmm. It's still early in the morning yes. and some traps are empty mm -hmm. and we need to ensure that the cows are fed throughout the day. Mm. I've also noticed that uh, Rose is feeding uh, fresh maize from the farm okay. and uh, for good milk production, we recommend that she do it and preserve it in form of silage. What is silage? Silage is where you get your fresh feed from the farm. Mm -hmm. That can be napier grass, mm -hmm. it can be maize, mm -hmm. it can be sorghum. And then you chop it keenly mm -hmm. and then you compress it in an airtight container. It can be a bag, it can be a pit, it can be a bunker. Mm -hmm. Yes, airtight. Mm -hmm. And then you feed it after 21 days. Why silage? Number one, it will help you to feed your cows consistently. Mm -hmm. And number two, it will help you to store feed for your cows mm -hmm. such that when the rains are gone and the dry spell comes, you will not suffer because you still have food in the store for your cows. Mm -hmm. Also, when you, you are feeding direct from the farm, mm -hmm. you realize the quality of your feed varies. Mm -hmm. The maize you are giving fresh today mm -hmm. will not be the same quality the maize that you give next week okay. so your quality will keep varying and these cows mm -hmm. need to be fed with the same quality mm -hmm. consistently without changing mm -hmm. so that's why you need silage when you say that it means there has to be a particular time where the grass is harvested yes. is that what you're trying to say yes and i'll show you okay. so we can go to the shamba yeah you can go uh, I'll right. show her. i always plant my maize for my cows and napier grass when you want to make silage, you get a maize that, uh, like this one, that mm. is at dough stage. When you want to know whether it is at dough stage, yeah. you just take it and you press. Okay. When you press, it should be somehow dry, mm -hmm. but not splashing milk uh, out of it. So at that stage, the cows can be able to chew it and digest it and give you the more milk that you need. All right. Yeah. Do you cut it immediately and store it, or is there a way that you do it? When you are doing maize silage, mm. you can cut directly and go and then sell, or you do silage immediately. So, today, we shall make maize silage. For this, we need to cut the maize about one foot from the soil so that you can only use the soft and nutritious part. As we started harvesting the maize, Richard Ndegwa, a service provider who trained with two scale, arrived with a special machine ready to do some work. The service I provide to the farmers is to show them how to keep silent and a uh, quality silage, and the pay me. Here we have uh, molasses, silage bag, maize, and water. And also we have a super machine, which is the best for crushing the maize. So it's going to refine it and mix it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. To begin the silage making process, take the bag and turn it inside out. Fold one of the open sides of the bag neatly in pleats like this. And tie tightly with a piece of rubber or rope. Turn 
turn the bag inside out again and roll the bag down like this. This bag should be able to hold about 800 kilos of fodder. Time to shred. Put your maize through the shredder. Using the shredder makes sure the maize is properly crushed and makes it easy for the cow to chew and digest. Add the shredded fodder into the bag up to a height of about one to two feet. With a clean pair of gumboots, step on the fodder, pressing all the air out. Ensure you step on the sides as you unfold the bag. The silage bag is especially made for silage making. It does not allow air or moisture to pass. Mix one part of molasses to three parts water and stir well. Sprinkle this mixture lightly on the fodder in the bag. Add another layer of the crushed maize and sprinkle the molasses and water mix. Repeat this process until the bag is full, leaving some space for tying. Pleat and twist the bag, pushing all the air out. Tie with a rope and piece of rubber, ensuring it is airtight. Clean the bag to avoid the sweet molasses smell attracting rodents and place a rock on the top of the bag. This bag can be kept outside under a shade. With one bag made, it's time to harvest the rest of the maize to ensure we make use of the fodder at the right stage. Silage is a great way to store excess fodder that you may have after the long rains. This will ensure you always have feeds for your cows even in the dry season. Silage making is a job that young people can get into after training. A good way to make money. It is very important for young people because most of farmers, they don't want to do this job. When the young sheep win, there is a lot of job that they, they will make money. And the silage making steps are on repeat here. Shred, spread. Molasses and water mixture, compress, and then repeat. Meanwhile, we are now at two bags of silage, and Legua is still at it. 